Hi there, I'm here today to talk to you about the formation of corries. You can see an image of a glacial landscape here with three corries identified for you, along with other landforms present in this glacial landscape. A good case study for the formation of a corrie would be Grisdale Tarn, which is located in the Lake District. Corries form in hollows where snow can accumulate. In the Northern Hemisphere, this tends to be on northwest to southeast facing slopes which because of their aspect are slightly protected from the sun, which allows snow to lie on the ground for longer and accumulate. It is in these locations that snow accumulation is highest and ablation is lowest. The snow compacts into ice and this accumulates over many years to compact into neve. The hollow that the snow accumulates in is deepened by a process called nevation which involves the combined effects of freeze-thaw and the removal of material by the melting of snow. This moves downhill as a result of gravity, the mass of ice, lubrication at the base and the slope that the hollow and snow sits on. It moves in a rotational movement because of the slope and overlying pressure. The ice freezes to the back wall and as it does, plucks rocks out, steepening the back wall. This material from plucking and frost shatter is moved along under the ice, abrading the hollow by scratching the surface rock. This is further aided under the ice by the fact that the pressure melting point is often surpassed, allowing meltwater to exist at the base and allowing basal sliding to occur. The maximum rates of vertical erosion are found where the weight of the ice is greatest. These processes combined create a steep back wall and a hollow known as a corrie. At the front edge of the corrie, the ice thins out as it speeds up on its journey down valley and this area is therefore less eroded, encouraging the formation of a rock lip. When the ice melts, a corrie lake, which we can also refer to as a tarn, can form within the corrie. This landscape you see in front of you is something you would expect to see in a post-glacial environment.